Whoa, hey, now you look interesting. What's up? I'm Lennox. Yeah? Right on! About time we made another trip out there. I mean, me and my girl here. You haven't been, I guess. Rucka said somebody be coming by. Guess you're it. If you're all set, I'm ready when you are. She's all fueled up for the trip out and back. I'm a miracle worker in the sky, but even I can't make a fly on willpower alone. Now I get my girl ready for takeoff, and you just tell me when you're ready to go. Yep. I like to be up here to stay with her. It's been a long time since I had a working bird. I don't want anybody messing with her. Hell yeah, I can. I was Air Force back in the day. Tankers, cargo, I'd fly anything. Through hell and fire, no problem. This vertebrate's an odd duck. Ain't a plane, ain't a chopper. But if you go up with me, just sit back and relax. Never lost my cargo once, human or otherwise. You'll be fine. One of the responders said they saw a spaceman the other day. Little gray dude. Aliens, you know? Hell, I saw crap above the clouds you'd never believe, even before the war. Tic Tacs, cigars, discs, stuff that moved like nothing we had. No way we're alone. Believe it. You better believe it. You know, people will tell you that a twin prop strategic airlifter doesn't have the envelope for aerobatic maneuvering. And to that I say, they might be right. But it was a hell of a lot of fun trying it. Yeah, no problem. Hasta luego. Touching down. Is this thing on? Hey, I'm Hex, leader of the local 42, a union cell in the area. Skippy said that you're coming to help. Maybe with you here, we can finally pull off a raid on the fanatics occupying our foundry. So first, well, meet me on the ground and I'll fill you in. Don't you worry about me. Worry about yourself. Nothing good. They call it the pit because no light, nothing good, escapes it. Oh, that's what I heard back in the refuge. I always thought that was melodramatic, but being here now, not so sure they're wrong. This place is full of raiders, rads, and mutants. It'll be rough going. Just give me the word when you're through here. Way. 
So you're the one Skippy sent, yeah? I'm Hex, leader of the Union's Local 42. We spoke on the radio as you flew in. I've been doing the rounds, meeting our informants. People on the inside helping us stay one step ahead of the fanatics. Just got word that they're getting a shipment into the supply depot up ahead. The stores they have in there could feed us for a week. I have another spy to meet elsewhere in the city and I'm already running late. How do you feel about raiding a supply depot? That's right. The hardest job a unioner can do, but one of the most important. My informants help keep us a step ahead of the enemy, but they risk their lives. And humanity. Every single day. The fanatics think they own this place, and everyone in it. The raiders, tyrants, and more. Used to be just a bunch of small gangs who couldn't do any real damage by themselves. Until some great leader showed up and united them. Life in the pit's never been the same since. Well, that's the funny thing. We know they have one. At least they say they do. But we have no idea who they really are. Nobody does. I'm not even sure the people at the top know who really runs the show. I have to admit, it's savvy of them. You'd better believe we'd be hunting their leaders down if we knew who the hell they were. They'd do the same to me. Hate's not a strong enough word. Those Jagoffs have their minds set on making this place a living hell for everyone outside their little cabal. We have to take it back. No hesitation, no mercy. Not for them. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know what kind of utopia you think you came from, but from what I've heard, Appalachia's got plenty of problems of its own. Nukes all over. Monsters with green crystals growing out of their skin. This place may have thick air and rads out the ass, but it's home. And once we beat the fanatics, we're gonna make it better than it ever was. That much, I can promise. Huh. Looks like I can really count on you. The depot is just down the road. The supply shipment should be inside, but it's heavily guarded. If you can secure it and send a signal to our scavenger team, they can come in to retrieve the cargo after you've cleared out the guards. All right, I need to get moving. Give them hell and show no mercy. Let's talk again when you're through.
The struggle is... Those supplies will help replace what was stolen. That's a relief. Head back to the pen and we can talk about hitting the foundry next. There you are. Come on in. Best defense is a good offense. Somehow there's never enough steel to go around in this steel city. I'll admit, I had my doubts about getting outside help. But you really showed up out there. Makes me feel better about sending you inside the foundry. The place is crawling with fanatics. It's like a pest infestation, but worse. Pests don't kidnap our people. <coughs> They're rounding up anyone who can't defend themselves, forcing them to do manual labor. If I had it my way, I'd give them all a molten hot taste of their own... Sorry. Carried away. The foundry is, was, what it sounds like, a metal foundry. Before the war, it made steel products. After the war, it became a union base, the home of a local 42. That is, until Bloody Thursday, when we lost it to the fanatics. Now it's a fanatic base, a fortress they're using to wipe us out, bit by bit. Pen? It's a union base. A temporary one, at least. By now, the fanatics hold most of the better secured areas in the pit. You and I do our jobs well, then someday we can move next door, into the foundry. Don't let us down, yeah? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. The foundry used to be ours, you know. The old hands hid caches around the place with all their important schematics and planning docks. We still have tracking signals we can use to hunt them down. That's where you come in. Thanks for doing this for us. Your raid will give us some time to collect ourselves. Get back on our feet. Before you head out, you might want to talk to our guy Wicker. Heard he needed help with some things that he can't see to himself. Watch yourself in there. We'll hold the fort and make sure no surprises head your way. Good luck. Back to work, Wick. No more loafing around. Hey, name's Wicker. You look like a new face to me. What can I do for you, new face? Not at all. Shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did you learn your manners? You never ask a man about his name. It just isn't done. 
Yep. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. A Mr. Odd job to the crew. Lately, I've been hunting for useful materials. When no fanatics are around, that is. Anything for you, new face. Yeah, if you're up for it. I could always use more pure cast steel ingots. We've also had a supply cache stolen by the fanatics. Yeah, taking that back would be huge. This here is the Steel City. Or used to be, anyway. Steel is one thing that's everywhere. But we're racing the fanatics to get our hands on the good stuff. See, pure cast pre-war steel with no impurities is worth its weight in gold to us. <laughs> and it's just lying around out there waiting to be picked up. Bring me some of that steel, and you'll have my gratitude, and the rest of the unions. Fanatics are always looking for ways to make our lives hell. Stealing our stuff is a favorite tactic. They have control over most of the city now, so none of our caravans or storehouses are truly safe. <laughs> that means we lose supplies to their daily raids all the time. One of our storehouses got hit recently. We know the raiders are keeping what they stole inside the foundry. But we don't have the means to recover them. If, if you could get those supplies back for us, it would mean a lot. It'll keep us alive another day. Thank you. Sincerely. Any pure... Later, I hope.
weak fall, the strong survive. Boss! Take that thing out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's killing time. 